I'm so glad that we're together. I'm so glad you're near. It's good when friends are together. I'm so glad I'm here. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome, welcome to my special friend. I'm so happy and delighted you are near today. I'm so glad you came to visit. I'm so glad I'm here. It's going to be a really good day all because you're near. I'm so glad that we can be friends, learn together, grow together, talk together, sing together, a song or maybe two. One, two, I'm so glad you came to visit, I'm so glad I'm here. It's going to be a really good day, all because you're near. Welcome, friend. Do you have any ideas what I might have brought with me today? Well, let's go over to the table and examine it. Come on. This is a kite. Now, I don't have string for this kite, but I thought we could put it together and look at it. All oh, the beautiful colors of the kite. Yes. Now there's a rod that goes through the middle of the kite and then there's another rod that goes across the kite and that gives it support. Now the one that's in the middle of the kite is sewed into the kite so it can't be removed. But this one, so you can fold the kite up, this one can be removed. So first it goes through this middle loop, and then this end of the rod goes into this pocket, and this end of the rod goes into this pocket, and that also pulls the kite taut. almost like putting a tent together. There we go. And if we had string for this kite, the string would attach right here. And that gives it support for the string to hook on. So the kite would fly like this. And when you look up at the kite, this is what you would see. But look at all the pretty colors on this kite. Do you recognize the shapes? The shapes are flip-flops. In fact, it looks like a family of three flip-flops. There's the big set of flip-flops that are red and the smaller set of flip-flops that are blue and the smallest pair of flip-flops that are navy blue. But look at all the colors. Isn't that beautiful? I really enjoy flying this kite when I have a string for it. In fact, I like to think about a time when I was flying this kite. Why don't you and I think about that time together right now? So this kite needs two important things. It needs string and it needs a good wind. Yes, you need string to help the person who's flying the kite control the kite. And the string also helps the kite not to just blow away. The wind catches the kite 
and it takes it higher and higher and higher into the sky. You know, we cannot see the wind, but we can sure feel the results of the wind and see the results of the wind when the kite is flying. Absolutely. These are the tail, this is the tail of the kite or the tails of the kite. I'll roll that back up and put it into its bag for safekeeping for the next time that I go flying a kite. You know, near this workshop, there's a place where people windsurf and kite surf. People who windsurf have a big sail attached to something like a surfboard. And people who kite surf have something like a really large kite attached to themselves that pulls them along. It's like flying a kite big enough for a person to sail along the water. I think Smart Screen has a video of a time that I went there and watched the people both kite sailing and windsurfing. Let's ask Smart Screen if Smart Screen has that video. Oh, look, Smart Screen already has the video up. Let's watch together. Thank you, smart screen. Did you notice how the people had to balance their boards to stand up? Of course, some of the windsurfers fell into the water, but they got back on their boards and tried again. Sure, anything worthwhile takes a lot of practice. When I was learning to ride my bike, I fell many times, but I continued to get back on it and ride again. I remember one time I told my mom I would never ride again. But after a short time, I got back on my bicycle and I began to ride. It takes practice. Anything worthwhile takes practice. You can look at a bicycle and hope that it will go. But it's you who has to pedal it. It's you who makes it go. It takes practice. Anything worthwhile takes practice. It won't simply move itself. It takes practice. To do it and do it well takes practice. Anything worthwhile takes practice. It takes practice. Anything worthwhile takes practice. You can look at roller skates and hope that they will go. But it's you who has to balance them. It's you who makes them go. It takes practice. Anything worthwhile takes practice. They won't simply move themselves. It takes practice. To do it and do it well takes practice. Lots and lots and lots of practice. Lots and lots and lots of practice. And to do something really well, takes lots of practice. You might fall and you might fail, but that's part of learning. It's a good feeling when you keep practicing despite failing or falling. Keep practicing so you are able to do something and do it well. I'm not the best cyclist, but I keep trying and today it brings me lots of pleasure to be able to ride my bike. Anything worthwhile takes practice. Let's get our pretending toys and practice some fantasy play.
now. Last time we met Poe. Poe has just moved to Mumbo's tree. Oops. We found out that Mumbo lives in the tree trunk and the roots, and he works in the tree house. Poe has just moved into the branches next door to Mumbo's workshop. Last time, Audrey, Mumbo, and Lenny, and Boo had hung a tire swing on the branch and almost shook Poe's nest out of the tree. Remember, Poe thought that they were trying to get rid of him, but they weren't. They welcomed Poe and promised to move the swing so not to disturb Poe's house. Well, today, maybe Poe can be helping Mumbo with something Mumbo is working on at his workshop. Let's pretend about that now. I think this kite is done, Poe. The only thing is, I don't think there's enough wind to fly the kite today. Maybe I can help you, Mumbo. How? I can fly the kite high enough to catch the wind and let it go. From there, you can test this kite and see if it works well. You think you can do that, Poe? Over the years, I've learned there's no job too big, there's no job too small for a Raven named Poe. It'll be teamwork. You hold the string steady while I fly the kite up to catch the wind. Hey, that sounds good to me. Teamwork is good work because two working together is better than one mumbo working alone. Right as rain. Plus, I can help you overcome the obstacle of not having wind close to the ground today. That's right. I cannot fly, but you can. So you can fly the kite up to meet the wind. Right. While you finish up, I'll go make a practice flight to see about how high I will need to fly to deliver this kite to the wind. Thanks, Poe. You're welcome, mate. Let me double check this knot, and I'll take this kite outdoors for a test flight. Yes, that's got it. This kite is ready to fly. Hopefully, by the time I get outside, Poe will be back from his practice flight. Here comes Poe now. Touchdown! Well, mate, see that little puffy cloud up in the sky? Yes. Well, that's how high I'll need to take the kite. That's where the wind starts today. Oh, that's pretty high, Poe. Oh, no. It's not as high as it looks. Well, the kite is ready. If you are ready, Poe. I'm ready. If you'll take hold of the kite here, I think you should be in good shape to take it up. All right. Here I go. Way! Oh, no, Poe. Are you okay? I'm fine, mate. Just a little shaken up. My wing got tangled in the string. Is the kite okay? Yes, the kite is fine. Then let's try this one more time. You know, anything worthwhile takes practice. True. Here we go. I'll get a running start. And then we Up, up, and away! Poe, that second try was beautiful. Look at him soar higher and higher in the sky. He just reached the cloud. He's letting go. I better hold on tight. We've come too far to lose the kite now. Here comes Poe back to me. Mumbo, that was a much better takeoff. Poe, that takeoff was a thing of beauty. How is the kite handling? It's handling great, Poe. I think I'll give it more strings so it can go a little higher. Hi, guys. What's up? Mumbo is flying a kite he built in his workshop. Oh, I've always wanted to try to fly a kite. Mumbo, may I have a turn? Well, Boo, this is a prototype. Funny, it looks like a kite to me. It is a kite. The word prototype means that it's the only one like it. This is the only kite exactly like this kite. If it flies well, I will begin producing this kite back at the workshop. Production? Yes, mate. That means Mumbo will make many kites like this one if it works well. If it doesn't work well, he'll make adjustments and test it again. Oh, I see. So can I test it too? Uh, okay, Boo, I guess. Please be careful and don't let go. I have drawings in the workshop. 
but it is easier to have the physical kite to look at when I start to make more. Okay, I promise to be careful. Good, here we go. You take this part, Boo. Okay, oh, I've got it. It's flying, I mean, I'm flying this kite. You're doing great for your first try. Oh, it feels like it's going to the right. That's okay, gently make it go left. That should correct the problem. Wow, I'm flying the kite. I'm really flying the kite. And doing great. Look at me, look at me. Okay, just be careful, Boo. I'll step back just a little. Oh, I'm falling, ouch. Boo, are you okay? I'm okay, I tripped over the tree root. Oh, Mumbo, I'm sorry, I let go of the kite when I fell. Yes, that sometimes happens the first time someone flies a kite. It's okay. I know it was an accident. I'll build a new prototype for testing. Mumbo, I really am sorry. I forgive you, Boo. I know it was an accident. Come on, Poe. We'll go back to the drawing board and start again. Poe? Poe? Hey, where did Poe go? I thought he was here with us. Me too. Hey, isn't that Poe? Where? Up there. I don't believe it. He's flying to try and catch the kite. He caught the kite, Mumbo. I don't believe it. Here he comes. Mumbo, Mumbo, grab the string. Got it. I'll fly around and land. Look at him go. There was a lot of resistance on that kite string from the wind and the kite. It was almost impossible for me to land with the kite. That's why I had to hand it off to you and then land. Thank you for saving the kite, Bo. Yes, thank you, Bo. I felt badly for losing it. I know you did, Boo. I also know Mumbo hated losing his hard work. So I thought, There's no job too big. There's no job too small. For a Riven 9, Bo. Well, I can say this. I never want to fly another kite. No, you were doing great. You merely tripped and fell. That's a mistake that many beginners make. That's right, mate. That's a mistake you'll know how to avoid next time. Right. Anything worthwhile takes practice. You think? We know. Yes. In fact, we need to give this kite a second test. And I think you need to be the one to do it. Really? Really. Thank you both for believing in me. Here, Boo. Take the string. You can do it. So Boo learned that it's good not to give up when something you want to do messes up. He wanted to fly the kite, but he tripped and dropped it. I bet he felt badly about losing Mumbo's kite. But wasn't it wonderful how Poe saved the kite and brought it to Mumbo? I'm sure Mumbo and Boo were both relieved to have the kite back. It was nice of Mumbo to insist that Boo not give up, but try again. Anything worthwhile takes lots and lots and lots of practice. Well, I think I will practice putting up our pretending toys. You know, someone was telling me that we could make a kite out of paper and straws. In fact, I would like to do that now. I have our craft bag. We will need some tape and something from the pegboard. We'll need this ruler. In fact, the ruler is in a protective sleeve. I'll take that off and lay it to the side. I found this bag and I thought it was very, very pretty. And I thought the designs on this bag would make a nice kite, nice paper for the kite. So I want to use this for our kite. The back of the bag has a seam and we're going to cut that out and just use the front part of the bag and in fact I've already started on this this is two straws one straw that's thin 
and long and the other that's short and stout. They're two different sizes, but they're both red straws. But if you do this project, you could use any kind of straw you want. But I took some twine or some string and I wrapped around and I took some tape and taped around so that our crossbars for our kite would stay together really well. This kind of looks like the letter T, doesn't it? Well, today it's part of our kite. We will also need scissors and a pencil and some string. Now, first, I'm going to cut the back part of our bag out because we won't need that part with the seam. We just need the part without the seam. Now, I don't think this little kite would ever really fly. No. But it would be fun decoration and fun to play with indoors. Okay. And I will roll this little piece of paper up. The part that has the seam, we won't use it. We might save it for another day. Now, this will be the front of our kite. So this part will be the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our crossbars of our kite and lay them like so. And I'm going to go ahead and tape them to the paper. You don't have to use a lot of tape, just a little. I'm going to tape, tape all four cross or all four parts of the crossbars. Now I'm going to take our ruler and I'm going to line up from straw to straw and then I'm going to take my pencil. So really the ruler is sort of like a pattern or a template so I can mark the paper I do it on the other side as well. Then I will mark this side. And then I'll mark the last side. Whoops. Messed up, but you see how I tried again? Anything worthwhile takes practice. Even if you've done something many, many times, you still might mess up. Now we're through with the ruler, so I'm going to put it back in its sleeve for the next time we use it. Oh, there we go. Now, I'm going to take our scissors, and children should never use scissors unless there's an adult present. But I'm going to use these scissors to cut along the lines, the pencil lines that I made. To cut out our kite. One more side. Ah, I'll put our scissors back in the craft bag and our pencil back in. And these little bits of paper we might use for another project, so I'll put them in our craft bag as well. And look, we have our very own kite. Now, if you want to, you could tie on some string, and I think I'm going to do that right now. How are you at tying knots? Well, if you need practice, this craft is a good way to practice. Knots and bows are something it takes lots and lots of practice to do and do well. Yes, 
I practiced for a long time before I could tie my shoes or tie an apron. You know, I tie these aprons when I come to the workshop. Oh, I tell you what, let me get the scissors back out. And we'll cut the string about here. And we'll put the string and the scissors back. I'm gonna put the tape and the craft bag away. I'll put our ruler back on the pegboard. And look, we have our very own kite. Catches the wind in here, doesn't it? Oh, that's so much fun. Well, I tell you what, it's almost time for me to go. So I'll take our little kite that you and I made and the big kite that I brought, and I will go get my sport coat. Come on, it's about time for me to go back to work. Next time, I will see you next time. We will be together next time. We'll sing a song or two or three. We'll sing it strong and merrily. Next time, when we're together next time. Next time, I will see you next time. We will work together next time. We'll talk together openly about important things we see next time when we're together next time you've made today such a special day for me thank you for being here with me you know when i came in i entered with one big kite but i'm leaving with one big kite and with one small kite you know i like them both they're both unique, the small kite and the big kite. You are unique, and I like you just the way you are. I'll see you next time.